Hello world, my name is Ashley Collins, aka The Onto Dragons. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. Happy Christmas Eve or happy Christmas Day or happy whatever day that you're watching this that ends with a Y. I know what you're thinking, to gift or not to gift. And I'm here to help you with that. So let's do a little reflection on my life on the gifts I have not received on Christmas Day. Okay, so looking back on my relationships around the Christmas season, I'm usually always single around Christmas BTW, but, um, the main ex, <laughs> ex, ex number one, specimen number one, he claims to have gotten me this for Christmas. It's a Minnie Mouse watch. I love this watch. I haven't been wearing it as much lately because it's kind of like falling apart. I need to repair it. But he claimed that he got me this for Christmas. And I, I'm reflecting on the memory. I remember us in Macy's and me looking, or JCPenney. I don't remember. But I was looking at the watch, and I was like, I really, really want it. And I don't know if I, I pulled out my debit card or he pulled out his debit card. Regardless, I picked out my gift. So that shouldn't count, right? <laughs> um, once I was dating a guy, he got me a Batman um, jacket and Batman earrings. But they were, like, off with one of those websites where it costs, like, five cents to order something. And then when we stopped talking, I just returned it to him because I was like, take your cheap-ass gift back to you. That was so petty. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm a petty person. Um, <laughs> other than that, oh, no, this guy I was dating in college. Ugh, God. Um... He got me one of those portable DVD players because I was always taking a Greyhound to go see him. Ugh, that that shit broke. But like, does that count? I don't know. I guess I guess that shit does count. I guess I have received shit from. Why am I saying it's shit? God, I'm already being so petty. I have received gifts from the opposite sex for Christmas, and recently I've been thinking, what would I do now if I was dating someone? Would I give them a gift? And the questions you have to ask yourself is do you have the emotional intelligence to make that kind of decision and what do I mean by that are you going to give the gift with the mindset that you're not going to get something back what do I mean by that I mean not only you're not going to get something physically back you're only doing this from the kindness of your heart and don't think that this gift is leverage for you guys to be dating long term right so what do I mean by that First of all, how long have you guys been dating? If you guys have only been dating like two months, that's not even two months. No, yeah, two months, two weeks, that's not even a question. You're not getting each other gifts, okay? At least three months, you know? And if you are going to give them a gift, give them at least six, a six, a, a limit, let me say that again, give them a limit of $60. Another thing, God, sorry, it's ours. I'm already sweating, guys. Uh, you know, you have no idea how much powder I just put on my face because I'm like, I'm not going to sweat for this video because I want to look a little semi-cute. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you're so vain. Okay, <laughs> put a limit of $60 on their gift. And here's another thing, though. If you are over the, year, the age of 18 years old, which you should be because, like, there's an age limit to my channel, why don't you just ask them? I know it sounds so scary, right? It sounds so scary and it sounds so simple, but it really is. You know, why don't we treat adult relationships at, like adult relationships? You know, something that I've, I am slowly coming to terms with is men are very simple, not in an offensive way. It's a good thing. When a guy says that he doesn't want to eat that, that's not a hint to say, oh, he, I should get that for him because that's how women think, right? <laughs> when we say that, oh, I'm fine, we're never really fine. I know I do that all the time. <laughs> so why don't you just ask them? Straight up, are we exchanging gifts for each other this Christmas? If they say no, no means no. If you want to get them something at the kind of, of your heart because it just feels good gift, giving gifts to people, you know, then do that. But don't expect to use it as leverage as, oh, I, I got this, this bitch a uh, fucking PS5. First of all, don't get them a PS5 if you're just merely dating. What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> But don't say I got this bitch a PS5 and um, in January 1st, he stopped talking to me. Because then, like, that's going to result in bitterness and rage. And you're not going to want to date ever again. You're not going to want to give people gifts ever again. So don't set yourself up for failure like that. Communicate with one another. Because, you know, we have the, the fortune of using our words. And just ask, are we exchanging gifts? Yeah or not? And if, if I'm going to give you a gift, what do you want? Don't assume. Okay? Because you don't want to, you know, have that disappointment. Okay, um, what else, what else, what else? Um, another question if you're still on the fence whether to give them a gift or not, ask yourself, when you're missing them, do you think that they're missing you? 
if you're a little uncertain, if you're like a little wavering about that, don't get them anything at all, okay? Because you're, you're literally just going to end up regretting it. Um, another thing, um, and like I said, you really don't, we really have to stop investing our time and money in temporary people because they're taking something from our soul. And also, okay, this might sound a little rude, a little crass, but I don't give a fuck right now. Um, <laughs> I'm fully going back to I don't give a fuck, Ashley. If you are complaining about receiving a $600 stimulus, you're complaining that you're not be able to eat, not going to be able to going to be able to pay rent you shouldn't be thinking about getting anyone a present right now for any fucking holiday no fucking anniversaries no christmas no birthdays fuck giving anyone a gift right now you need to focus on your financial literacy and building up your money again you know and i think that this is a this is a huge problem with the holidays where it's like we feel like a bad person if we don't get such and such a person a gift because this is the last christmas we may spend together <sighs> We need to start being financially responsible, people. The only person I'm getting a gift for this year is my mom. That's it. Because I am I am in no financial spot to be. I don't have my own place right now. You know, my laptop's falling apart. My phone's falling apart. It would be so financially irresponsible of me to give someone a gift. And I don't think that we think like that. We're stressing out so much about the holidays, how much money we have to spend. But are you even eating? What did you eat for, for dinner today? Ramen? No, invest that, invest that $10 or $20 in, in building your resume or invest that money in, in, in a course that's going to help you gain, get wealth, you know, like let's, let's start being financially responsible, let's start being financially smart, you know, um, okay, that's it, okay, um, 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 if you stop, like, uh, okay, 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 so, Let's say that you guys do potentially have a future together. What should you give them? Like I said, ask. Don't assume because you don't want to make, make an ass out of you and them. <laughs> and if they say, get me whatever, you know, I find that people leave hints about their life in their social media. So it's okay to do a little social media stalking. <laughs> you know, if, if, if they're a huge fan of... Uh, video games get them a video game if they're a huge fan of hunting maybe give them like a cool flashlight another thing that you can do which i think is so romantic and so sweet is make them something make them like if you're an artist make them a piece of art you know like maybe <laughs> one of my co-workers he makes like chain mail stuff which i think is so freaking cool you know um another thing that you can do for them that if you if you're not creative with your hands like me <laughs> is you can make them a meal make them their favorite dish you know like make it like a make it a, a holiday that they'll never forget you know but like i said don't do something with the mindset that i might regret this because if you do if, if, if you're already in that mindset now don't do anything at all because like i said it's just gonna, just gonna make you even more bitter um 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 and also, it's Christmas. I, I'm so, yo, like, I, w I had nothing to do last night. Literally nothing. I'm so ahead of my content and it feels so good. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to scroll through social media. And I was like, oh my God. This is why I don't scroll. Everyone's being so negative. Everyone being such a downer. But it's like, you're here. You made it to Christmas. This is one of the most wonderful times of the year. And yes, I mean, Maybe you're like me and you're Florida and, it, and it's it's not snowing, but it's snowing iguanas. That's a thing, by the way. It's literally snowing iguanas right now. But um, <laughs> Or maybe like you lost your home, you lost your car, et cetera, et cetera. But you're here. I was listening to this video today in the gym by Alan Watts. And he said, the world to hell is paved with virtue. When you take a breath, you don't say thank you for breathing. When someone does a kind gesture for you, how often do you say thank you? How often do you say happy thank you more please? We're always wanting more. We're not even aware of the kind gestures that we do. We're not aware of the negative con hmm. We're not aware of the negative consequences that happen as a result of your virtue, as a result of you be wanting to be rewarded, as a result of you wanting more. Does that make sense? If you really genuinely care about someone, anyone, get some get them something without the phrase 
more please without the phrase without thinking remember remember when i did this for you in such and such date don't think like that because if you're already thinking like that initially don't even start don't even begin okay all right so if you are seeing someone like i said 60 i mean first of all if you're <laughs> if you haven't gotten them a gift by now it's too late <laughs> it's already christmas eve don't get them anything don't worry about it just focus on Just focus on making yourself happy. And as a result, they will be happy. And also, why? who is dating right now during the pandemic? That should literally be the last thing that you're thinking about. Get your money right. Focus on your work. Focus on your career. So that way, if this does happen again in four years, you'll be prepared. All right, cool, cool. Um, 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 that's it. Happy Christmas. Hope everyone's smiling. Eat something yummy for me and have some wine for me. Okay, bye.